I believe in one's capacities being used to their farthest limits. So do I, Miss Burton. But who's to decide the limits? Who knows the will of God? The will of God? I can't accept just knuckling under when things get difficult and calling that God's will. There's so much hardship and so little means of helping it. If you give too much here, someone else has to do without there. If you stretch the law here, you break it there. We do what we can. It's so little. We need patience. Patience? Oh, surely we need courage more. And courage not so much to endure as to act. All this resignation stunts us. We're so busy being resigned to the inevitable, we, we don't even ask if it is inevitable. We spend so much time accommodating ourselves to other people's standards, we don't even ask if our own might not be better. Oh, we're so occupied letting live, we haven't even begun to live. We, we just don't live. There's still just a, a race of blind, stumbling savages crawling up out of the primeval slime, trailing behind us fears and superstitions like jungle weeds and, and and we don't get rid of them because patience and resignation are accounted virtues oh think of all those generations patiently submitting to war poverty disease ugliness disappointment and calling their surrender submission to providence if the law is oppressive, we must change the law. If, if tradition is obstructive, we must break tradition. If the system is unjust, we must reform the system. Take what you want, says God. Take what you want and pay for it. Ah, uh, but who pays? It isn't as easy as that. I'm an old woman, Miss Burton. I've seen a great deal, and I know. You won't help? I didn't say that. We can keep the scholarship open if she's able to come back. But boarding is a different matter. The governors would never agree to it. I'm sorry. I've taken up far too much of your time. I'll go and see the Hollies, if there's anything I can do. Thank you. Is that what you teach them at Kiplington? I hope not. Who did it? Oh, Mitch Cohen. How's she getting on? Oh, not too badly. Poor little thing. She likes school. Well, who wouldn't after that great, gloomy, isolated house? You've seen it? Yes. It wasn't exactly a social call. I came upon Mitch Khan's father struggling with a cow in labor. In a shed, oh, where was it? Uh, Minton Riggs. It was extraordinary, really. I, I'd been to Kingsport to a concert, and I was coming back, and I helped him, in fact. When was the cow. this? The beginning of the Easter holidays. Oh, I didn't know. He didn't tell me. I don't suppose it entered his head. He obviously dislikes me. Oh, I'm sure he doesn't. Well, why shouldn't he? We're natural antagonists. Anyway, you did help him save his cow. For which he wasn't in the least grateful. Well, men never are. Anyway, why should they be? What do you actually mean? She had to the middle of the car. She was there all the time. It was coming out. Coming out. Out of the manor, silly. I'm being born. You have to get hold of its legs and pull. <laughs> but where are they in the room? Just the two of them? Well, of course she wouldn't have had to help if there'd be anyone else there, would she? Well, what happened? Well, then she drove Daddy home in her motor car, and she was so filthy dirty that she had to have a bath and change her clothes. Had she some more clothes with her? 
No, of course not. She doesn't carry a change of clothes about with her. Well, whose clothes did she change into then? Yes. You don't mean. I don't believe you. It's true. She wore my clothes. <gasps> Imagine Red Sally in my combinations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I say. Did you see her clothes? Yes, because um, Elsie, our maid, had to drive them for her, you see. What did you say to Bob? Everything. <laughs> Tell us what the knickers were like, Midge. What colour were they? Pale green and uh, and silk. They were so pretty. And um, she wore my brown ones to go home in, and sent everything back, washed and ironed in a box from Marshall and Snowbird. I say, have you heard? Gwyneth Rogers has got measles. Measles in summer term. It's true. They've quarantined her in Red Sally's house. That means they'll stop all the inter-school tennis matches and sports. Oh, oh. drat. Oh. And Lydia Holly's not coming back to school because her mother's died having a baby. Oh, hurrah, hurrah! Oh, you are a cruel thing, Midge Khan. You must be sorry about her mother. I'm not cruel. Of course I'm sorry about her mother. But I'm glad she's not coming back. For good riddance to bad rubbish, I say. <laughs> Now, don't go wandering off. You're getting bother. Aren't you ready yet, Midge? Cat, got your tongue? No, no. <laughs> I'm ready. Got your mind on school, I suppose. You just wrap yourself around that. You are good to me, Tom. And can you think of any reason why I shouldn't be? 